I've seen that before. I've seen mountains like this before. Ones with the snow on top of them. You have? These are the Aheed Mountains. They should extend all the way to the northern border of Trekur. Then let's traverse the tops of them to get there. How are we supposed to do that when they're blanketed in snow? It'll be near impossible to find the trail. But with the war, crossing over from Rasulia will be even more difficult, right? With you here, Victor, we should be able to find the trail without any issues. No, we shouldn't. I've never had any occasion to go to Trekur before. <sighs> then I guess it's out of the question. Wait a minute. I know what route to take. How would you know that? Um, by using my own form of signaturgy? Signaturgy? Preposterous! There can't be any signaturgy that allows one to discover unknown roots because he meant it as a figure of speech. I apologize for any misconceptions he caused by using that word. Anne and I can find how to get there, trust me. Just who are the two of you, anyway? First, you have the same weapon as the enemy. And now you make this outrageous statement? Come to think of it, they just appeared out of the blue. And why did you try to give Relia to the enemy against our wishes? If you're so knowledgeable about signets, Anne, how come no one at the Institute knows you? And we could go on. Everyone, please, take a step back. Emerson, I can't help but be skeptical of you as well. You guys are definitely harboring some secrets. And you feel that you can't share them with us. There's no doubting that. <sighs> However, you put your life on the line to fight for us. And you've saved Relia more than once. Furthermore, you broke some law in order to help us, even though Anne tried to stop you at first. So you overheard us then? I'm sure it was imperative you adhere to it. But you decided that protecting Relia was even more important. And I have a hunch you'll do it again if need be. It's almost as if you can see right through us. I've made my decision and I believe in you. All right, everyone. We're crossing the mountains into Trey Kerr. This is as far as I can accompany you. From here, I must head back to Rasulia. But we... If Santorol were attacked, I would want to return as well. What would you do if it were Stahl? I... I guess I see your point. Thank you for coming with us as far as you did. Thank you, Mr. Soldier. I said some rather harsh things to you back there, but... Don't sweat it. Water under the bridge. I trust that you will keep everyone else safe. Of course I will. Bye-bye, Mr. Soldier.
So, it's about time you showed up. I'd be much more excited if it had been a lady waiting for us. I don't think I need to tell you why I'm here, you damned worms. We're not giving you really a... Do I have to explain to you idiots again that it's pointless to resist? The half-wit with the potty mouth is making another empty threat. I'm so scared. You waste of Federation space! You'll pay for that remark! Force me! Wipe these filthy chimps out! Hey, what's going on up there, Vorsney? Vorsney! Vorsney here. Three Federation ships have entered this sector. They have their shields enabled and are preparing to engage. We cannot offer any support at the moment. Wait, what was that? I have bad news, sir. We've detected transport signals emanating from the enemy starships. Impossible! Now the tables have turned. You damned cheaters! Who violated protocol first? Oh, that's right, you. You want bearable little... Really, it belongs to us! Give her up! You know, Victor, the way you say that implies that you think you're one of the best soldiers in the world. That was never my intention. Don't worry, I would never actually take it that way. I just think it's cute when you get defensive about stuff. You should show more respect. That sounds just like something Fidley's father would say. Birds of a feather flock together, as they say. Mr. Camus and I are birds of a feather? You truly think so? Yeah, you're pretty similar.